Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today we're talking about, well, today we're talking about a few different things I got some questions on Twitter that I thought I'd answer What age were you when you started showing mental health signs? I was 13. Though I have self harm since I was 7, so it depends what, if you want to include that or not. Next question is from Sarah. Hi Sarah. And that is, how do you cope with suicidal thoughts without acting on them? So I get suicidal thoughts when I'm in a depressive episode. If that person can stop beeping the horn, that'd be great. My best how I cope is I distract myself, I have a hot bath, watch YouTube, film YouTube videos, I cuddle my unicorn. Mm. My baby unicorn. I go for walk, I play with my stress toys, I use my crisis box, I FaceTime my family. So for me coping with them is done by distracting. I like doing diamond art as well. I've got two that I really want to start doing but I know as soon as I start I'm not going to start. We'll see. The next question is from Elle. How old were you when you got diagnosed with autism? I was 24. And how long did you have to wait for an assessment? I didn't have to wait very long because I had the assessment while I was inpatient on a ward that had an autistic specialist who was qualified to do an assessment and they did an assessment on me. So I was waiting a couple of weeks. Next question is from on the excess. What's London like for you? Loud. But I, I love it down here. I like down to get on the underground and go wherever I want. London Underground truly is amazing. The only thing is it does cost more to buy things down here but you have pay the products what you get for living in London. Living in the capital you're gonna pay the higher prices. Now let's go on to Instagram questions. First Chris, were you were you manic at age thirteen? Yes I was. I got diagnosed with bipolar type one. Next question is are you still inpatient? No, I'm not. I've been outpatient now for over a month. And the last one is how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Honestly, I feel good. I've got an appointment with my psychiatrist this week which is causing some anxiety but nothing I can't handle. So yeah that's the questions that I was asked. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer, answer them in the comments down below and I'll for sure answer them. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.